going on YouTube? You're watching Eclipse Entertainment Presents. I'm your host, Derek Jones. Today we're talking about the Israeli gas mask. Stay tuned. The Israeli gas mask is a mask that protects the user from nuclear, biological, and chemical threats. With a negative pressure seal and a 40 millimeter NATO dual filtering system for added protection against harmful particulates in the air. The mask and filter combo is a perfect choice to keep the user breathing in the harshest conditions. Accompanied with the USGI charcoal layered NBC suit, gas mask hood cover, and chemical protected gloves for added protection against nuclear, biological, and chemical threats. A wise choice of gear for the wise individual. Stay tuned for the full review. Alright, this right here on the table is the Israeli gas mask with the 40 millimeter NATO filter and uh, your drinking tube. Now I know what some people are thinking right now, they're probably thinking that this is overkill for your preps, but I'm here to tell you uh, that the DOD, the Department of Defense, have purchased $250 million worth of uh, MP5 gas masks. Now why would they need that many gas masks? Uh, I have no idea, but I like to uh, pay attention to what the military is doing or what the rich is doing in the stock market. You can learn a lot from these guys, they know what's going on, they know what's coming. So uh, that being said, let's dive right into the mask. All right, what you're looking at here is your Israeli gas mask. As you can see, it has a rubber outer shell. You have your polycarbonate lenses. Right here is where you screw on your 40 millimeter NATO filter. And down below that is your voice box. That's where you would communicate with the people around you with. As you can see here, this is your drinking tube area. <clears throat> I'm gonna turn it to the back. As you can see, you have straps that you can pull tight as you need it on all different angles. It's and you just pull that around your face. As you can see, the outer protection is this outer surface area right here. This part will go on the outside of your face. Now this will protect your eyes, that outer area. And this inner paste right here, I don't know if you can see that clearly, that part right there is for your mouth and nose. That right there will keep you from fogging up the lenses while you have the mask on. And if you can see deep inside of there, that's where your drinking tube is. All you do is bite down on that and you can drink your water. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get into this uh, 40 millimeter NATO filter. This is a common filter, 90% of gas masks will have a, a filter of 40 millimeter. Let me just take this off for you, you're just going to pull it off here and you're going to twist it and just going to turn it clockwise onto your gas mask. You can just tighten it on with your hands, you don't need no special tool and bam, you're ready to go. And on the side here, you just want to unscrew this cap and this is where your water bladder would be if you have a water bladder. It's not, you don't have to have a water bladder on here, but you, if you have one, you can put it on there because you will get hot. Uh, underneath the gas mask, I'll tell you that much. My son will tell you himself too. He's the guy at the beginning of the thing, getting everything done for you. And bam, you would put this on and you would just put this on the water bladder underneath your chemical suit. Bam, there you have it. This mask can protect you up to 12 to 24 hours depending on how contaminated the air is around you. But if you happen to get out of the contamination zone, you can take off your filter and put the caps back on it and you can store it for about six to 12 months. These filters really don't have a shelf life, so if you store them properly, uh, they can store for a very, very long time. But these masks right here can protect you from nuclear fallout, bacteria, chemicals like uh, chlorine gas, uh, mustard gas, anything along those lines, this mask pretty much has got you covered. All right, this right here is your USGIOD green chemical protectant suit. Uh, this same thing as this NBC as the mask, nuclear, biological, and chemical. This is a charcoal line suit. It has uh, three buttons. You just pop these buttons open like so, and you have your zipper here. And then you have a wind fly out beneath the zipper. So you have a wind fly on top and a wind fly on the bottom and your zipper. You just pop it open and you can see it has a charcoal interior. Uh, this will help protect you from the chemicals. All right, these, these USGI uniforms are made to be put over your clothes. So you don't have to take off your clothes and then put these on. You just put these right over. And then once you get out of the contamination zone, you just take these off and then you just go on about your business. I'm gonna move over to the pants. Slide these over. And USGI pants, as you can see, they're charcoal lined. Uh, these are the smalls, but yeah, like I said, you can fit these on small, extra small, or maybe even a medium sized person. As you can see right here, the pant leg, it opens up all the way so you can slide your shoes right through there with no problem. It has a zipper and then it has a, a Velcro strap. You just tie it down and then you have your little cords to tie around your boots. Now over here on the waistline, you have your button, you have a little button loops or belt loops, sorry. You have your button and your zipper. You can just pull that down. You have buttons inside of here where you can attach to the jacket if you choose to wear it like so. And then you have here you have uh, straps that you can tighten it up around your waist. If you're a bigger waist, you can make it bigger. If you want to make it super tight, then you can make it extremely tight. All right, now I'm just going to take it over uh, to the gloves, the chemical gloves. You have your two chemical gloves that go up to about uh, mid forearm to about right here. So if you have to touch any chemicals like that, you don't have to worry about it seeping onto your uniform. And you know when fabric gets wet, it moves up. So you don't want that happening. 
and then it also comes with uh, two white linen gloves that you put inside because your hands will sweat in here and these help uh, keep that down to a minimal. All right, this right here is your gas mask hoodie. The USGI uniform that I bought didn't have a hood that come with the jacket, so I had to purchase this from a third party on eBay. But uh, what you would do is just slide your gas mask through here without the filter on it. As you can see, it has a rain fight to keep the rain from falling on your gas mask. Uh, you have a little thing to cinch it around your neck to make it tighter. And you can put these loops right here underneath your arm uh, to make keep this steady on you. So if you're jumping, running, and climbing, uh, it will stay put where it needs to be at. Now I'm gonna show you guys here an example on how to put all this stuff on and how it looks like. Stay tuned. All right, we're gonna show you how to put on these uh, pants. It's a lot easier with two people, but we just took the shoes off just to make it a little bit faster for you guys on the other side. All right, put just one arm on my shoulder. You're gonna slide one foot through, pull it all the way up. You're gonna slide the other foot through. Pull it up. All right, now turn to your side. Now I'm gonna show you here. You're just gonna pull the zipper all the way down and you're gonna close the Velcro strap. Same thing with this side. Pull the zipper all the way down. Close the vehicle strap. Turn forward. You're gonna pull his pants up. Zip it. Just like you would with any other pair of pants. You're gonna close the button on it. All right, he's got that closed. Now he's gonna turn to the side. I don't know if you can see this, but right here, like I was showing you over there, you can just pull these loops and make it tighter on you. Same for the other side as well. If he needs to pull it tight, he'll pull it, that's so. All right, we're gonna start with the gas mask. He's gonna put his chin in first, slide it on. He's gonna get it comfortable, nice, nice, nice little tight fit that whatever suits his needs. Gonna pull the strap starting with the bottom. He's gonna work his way up to the top. Once he feels that he's got it right, he's gonna do a pressure check. He's just gonna hold it. Uh, the front where he breathes in air in, he's gonna suck in. Once the mask collapses in on itself, that means he's got a nice tight seal. All right, we're gonna go ahead and put on this hoodie. Let's put the hoodie on first. Get it around the gas mask face. Get the rain fly in the right spot. Put it down nice and tight. All right, he's gonna send his arms underneath these loops. He's already got them on. And you're just gonna tighten it up around the neck. Now you can tighten up underneath these arm things, but right now for the video sake, we're not gonna do that this time being. Now right now, you're gonna put the filter on. We put the filter on last because uh, it's easier to put the hoodie on without the filter. You just wanna turn it clockwise nice and tight. You're gonna do another pressure check. Nice tight seal. Right, let me grab the jacket. We're gonna put the jacket on over this next. Slide your arm in. Then we're just gonna zip it up. All the way to the top. Get the top button, the middle button, third button down. All right, we're ready to go. Now we gotta put on the gloves. Start with the fabric gloves, the cotton gloves. You just keep your hands from sweating. Uh, you know, obviously you put on rubber gloves and if you're gonna be in the heat, even if you're not in the heat, you're trapping heat and you're gonna sweat. So these gloves help you from uh, your hands getting wet. It soaks up all the uh, sweat. All right, here's your other glove. Now it's a lot easier to put on these big rubber gloves with two people. Slide your hand down in it. Now I'm just gonna help him pull it. Lift your hand up. Or he's gonna show me how to do it. <laughs> Alright. Is you're gonna wanna tape around this area right here. And you're gonna wanna tape around the neck as well. Now we got both gloves on. Arm up. Nice and tight. There you go. And this is what the chemical suit looks like when you put it on. It can be a lot faster, but I'm just trying to do it for the camera. And there you have it. Thanks for watching Eclipse Entertainment Presents, where we bring you entertainment, news, reviews with the kid. Till next time, God bless.